What is going on guys? My name is Ampstar and today is the first day I'm going to be creating these amazing videos that are going to help you improve your game on, well it turns out this one is going to be Domination but usually I do Search and Destroy, Kill, kill, kill Confirmed, excuse me on that, and just any other game modes that I think that I'm really good at and I found an advantage that, that can help you out strategically and like a little bit tips and tri tricks and some routes. Anyways, Right off the bat, you want to cap A or C, whatever ones, uh, whatever spawn you you get, uh, get on, and then you want to see. Looking at the map, you got C and then you got A, and then when you look at the bottom where that circle building is, that's what I'm going to be talking about. And what you want to do there is you want to lock that down. Notice how nobody is on the C building, C building, but they're around it, and B is like right there. Like if you look at B and Put like a centimeter down combo. you can get access to that very easy and there's cover in the little cir circle building and then you have access to either your flag c or you have access at your flag a if you need to go it there quick and like if they're trying to like capture it you can easily get there and you can either grenade it really fast or you can just get there see how now i am now i'm in there and now see the guy was coming through a and i took him out because i uh i oh, i heard him and this video is uh slowing up so hold on losing a anyways i think i'm speeding this up but why not See, when in the circle building, you can control this, and what you want to do is you want to keep looking on these little, little, like where the ladder is and where you can come up. See, right there is you can have easy access to, 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 uh, B, and I should slow this down. Enemy has See if I can figure it out. Be advised, hostile UAV in enemy I don't even know how to figure this out. <laughs> Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. All right, there we go. My bad with that. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, as you see me own the circle building, I am just going all the way around it, protecting it. See now, Lightning our flag has. Uh, we have a flag right now, and I know that they're going to be coming up on on the C ramp or in the C ladder. So I just want to keep watching the C land or the C area. Because I see all these red dots. Well, I don't see them in the game. I just know that they spawn over there because their their flag at the moment is C. So I know that they're going to be coming on the C ramp because their flag is right there. Obviously, there's a guy in the circle with me that I don't really know about yet. And I guess we're in there. And I'm just looking around to find out somebody. See how I'm always looking at the C area because I know it's not my flag. Obviously, I shouldn't have been doing that too much is because I got killed from the back. Now, the th crucial thing about this is where you spawn by A, you can easily get back up there. And the thing about this is you always want to have um, fast hands because I think it's fast hands. Because then you can climb up ladders a lot, lot faster. I could be wrong, but... Um, don't put me on this, but whatever perk it is for you to climb ladders and uh, sweep equipment faster, which is fast hands, I believe, then you want that because you can get up on that ladder really, really fast. And it's crucial because it's that extra second that if a guy is up there. See how I just took this guy out on, on the C ramp? Because, well, obviously, I'm not going to get this guy, but if I had better aim, I would have been able to. But see how I had the C, C ramp lockdown, C stairs uh, lockdown, and I get. Oh, I thought I was gonna get this guy. I didn't get that guy. But anyways, you see how C is so effective because if you have people in there, you always have B. So once you lock down A and B, you're good. You're golden. You're you're good. You're set. So obviously, the game is gonna win. You're gonna win the game if you and your teammates can own the scene C building and own your and defend your flag that you have either A or C. Once you got that, that's how you lock down a meltdown. Right there, see that 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 dead body was trying to get B. Well, say it was a real person, you, you could just take him out it's so easy. So now I'm just like wandering around because I just felt like I should, and. The thing that I just want to stress on, make sure you have C. Now see how now we do not have A, and they're all spawning on A side. So if I was in the building, like I am kind of sort of right now, I should have been in the circle watching the, that A ramp. 
and that's the a ram stairs of where you get into the circle now we're going to be switching sides and i'll show you what i mean by when you want to get b very very early and it turns out we actually did get a or a we got a first and then we got b so make sure your team gets on a or you get, or one person can stay behind and everybody else goes to B. But the thing about this is you just want to get to B as fast as possible and you just want to throw all your equipment or your lethals and everything. You just want to start stunning it, start flashing it, start grenading it, and then jump on B and then collect it. Because once you get that, then see how everybody's going in that circle building? Well... Thank goodness that we got it before they actually started shooting us because they would have easily got us right in that little crack right by B where you can easily see B. And see how nobody's watching B right now? And they can easily cap it. That's how crucial this circle spot is. And right now, I guess I'm just like camping, but why not? But check out everybody else on the map. See how they're all the way around B? Well, obviously, if you're a domination player, you know B is crucial because you just need B and then whatever flag you have. Or if you're that good, you, you can have them all. <laughs> but see, there's always usually somebody, somebody in the circle building. And the thing about it is, I really didn't know that anybody's right in C building, but now I think I do. And uh, I'm going to be, because they said someone's taking B, all you got to do is check up and there you go. See what I mean? It's that easy. Well, guys, I hope you learned something today on Meltdown. And see again, look at I just take this guy out. Because why? Because we do not have C flag, and I know they're going to spawn on C flag. So I'm always looking out at that location. And see, I just took him out again. Easy as that, guys. I know I stress about always having the C building, but it pays off because it makes sense. Middle of the map, by B, and you can either tell what side they're going to be spawning on. It's just that easy. Anyways, uh, do I get this guy? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you can leave us some great feedback and tell me what you think. Tell me, this is my first video that I'm gonna be doing about like how to be better at a certain map of the game type and whatnot. See how fast I climb up that ladder? It's crucial to have that extra second. And I was just having uh, bouncing buddies or whatnot out, and it always kind of hops because it has your back and it destroys him. <laughs> After that. So guys, follow me on Twitter, Amstar underscore, tell me what you think, and subscribe to my channel as always, and I'll be doing a lot more of these videos of you giving me some likes because it's going to motivate me. Anyways guys, that's all the time I have here. I'm Amstar, and I'll see you guys later.